Yo guys, what's going on? Today, I wanna make a quick video showing you guys how floats work in CSGO and how where and float numbers and all that cool stuff works. So let's get right into it. So basically, if you guys don't know, this is your inventory in CSGO. And as you can see, I have some nice skins in here along with some kind of just some basic purple and blues. If we come up here to my knife and just inspect this real fast, you guys will notice if I hover over the eye, it gives me a where rating or a float number, which is 0.21. Now, this is a float number that's in between the numbers for field tested. Now the way these float numbers work is the lower the better. It's kind of like golf, the lower the better. 21 isn't that low, but this skin still looks really good. And I'm gonna show you guys why that is. So I'm gonna put all of this up on screen because I don't really have good visuals for this. But basically there's five wares in CSGO. You have factory new, minimal wear, field tested, well worn, and battle scarred. As you can see, all of these wares have a number associated with them or a series of numbers associated with them. For factory new, you can see that the float numbers go between 0, 0.00, basically nothing, to 0 0.07. Again, the lower the better. So factory new is basically a skin with, say for example, a 0 0.07 float is a very, very good looking skin. It looks brand new. There's no marks, no scuffs on it whatsoever. But a battle scarred skin with say a 0 0.50 float is gonna look absolutely horrible. It's gonna basically look like everything's been scratched off of it. Now you can use these floats to your advantage though. For example, my op wildfire here, if I inspect this, you'll see that it actually looks really, really good. But based on the float, it's field tested. Field tested is between 0 0.15 and 0 0.37. Now 0 0.16 is super close to 0 0.15, which basically means this skin is just about minimal wear. And as you guys probably have seen on the community market, minimal wear is significantly more money, but significantly better looking for most skins. For example, I bought this op for $50. I believe minimal wear goes for around 85. So basically, I was able to get a minimal wear skin just from finding a seller who was selling this skin with a higher float. Now, some people just think float means how many scratches are on a weapon. As you can see here, I have some scratches and scuffs on the back of the, of the stock here. That's actually not true. Basically, the way this works is as you go from factory and new down to battle scarred, not only are you looking at more scratches on your weapon, you're also looking at a decrease in vibrance in color of the actual skin. Now, for example, I'm gonna use the new M 4A1S player 2 skin from the Prisma 2 case. This is a factory new skin. If we look at this, there are no scratches anywhere on it. In fact, it looks just super perfect, no mistakes on it. But if we also come down here and look at the wear rating or the float number, it has a 0 0.06. This is super, super low, meaning that this skin is gonna be almost perfect. You can see that it's super vibrant. Like I said, there's like no scratches on it. But if we inspect a battle scarred version of it, you're gonna see that the color has been significantly reduced on top of an insane amount of scratches everywhere on the gun. Big chunks of paint missing, scuffs everywhere, major scratches. It just looks so much worse than the other skin did. And you see this in the float because the float is 0 0.79, which is extremely high. This is a really bad float. But if we inspect a skin in the middle that's field tested, you guys can see that, well, the color is not as good as factory new. It's just about there. And this is where being smart with CSGO skins comes into play like I've been doing. You can buy field tested skins that have decent floats and the field tested range that look really good but aren't super expensive. And in fact, I have a whole video on this. You guys can go check it out. I'll have it in a card up above. But it's super cool because you can work with these floats to be able to get whatever you want in the game for not super expensive sometimes. But if we also look at the float number on this, you'll see it's 0 0.34, which actually is not a very good field tested float. But for some reason, this one actually still looks really good now that I look at it, especially for 0 0.34. But basically guys, that's how floats work. The lower the float, the better and more vibrant a skin is. And the higher the float, the worse it becomes, more scuffed, more scratched up, and less vibrant by far. Now, I hope this helps some of you guys out. I love my skins, so working with the floats is super cool. Being able to get some of these skins for cheap and still have them look really, really nice. So if I did, make sure you guys leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.